begin, how do we begin to make a man two swords wax thicker? Well, first I had a sitting with a sculptor and a photographer at the Two Swords studio in London. My sculptor explained how many measurements and photographs they needed to take to make sure the portrayal was 100% accurate. So I needed to be patient and stand very still. Can you imagine how difficult that was for me? The sitting lasted two hours. In total, over 180 photos were taken of me in the figure's pose and expression. The sculptor used calipers to take most of the 200 measurements they needed, like the distance from the tip of my chin to the top of my cheekbone. Next, we chose from a selection of eyes to find the closest colour match to mine. The eyes are specially handmade, matching the colour of the whites and the iris perfectly. A skin colour palette was taken so the colouring artist would be able to recreate the perfect skin tone. Then to make sure my teeth were perfectly reproduced, I was asked to give a chili cast. And finally, coloured hair samples were selected for my wax figure. These would be blended together to produce my exact hair colour. And then just a few days later, sculptors got to work. First they built a metal armature like a skeleton to support the weight of the clay. The head has to be detachable, so while one sculptor sculpted my head, another worked on my body, the lucky thing. Thanks for doing a great job, guys. Next, it was time to be moulded. A special plaster mould is made of the clay head. It's made in 30 pieces so it can be removed from the clay and put back together again like a jigsaw puzzle, but this time without the clay head inside. Then melted wax is poured in and left to set, and the result is a hollow wax cast of my head. The body is cast in fiberglass, so it's really doable.
Ich mach's dir da so. Mhm.